home court we're going to do episode one well season one episode five and now i'm going to do season one episode six because they ran them back to back um so since they're 30 minute shows i'm just going to give y'all the two reviews all together so let's get into um episode five which is driving to distraction i like that uh shani tries her best to be realistic with her kids like even though they're privileged kids she try to make them not be bratty and act like say the smith kids or other celebrity kids that that where they just be jerks and assholes i like that she keeps them re realistic and try to give them home training and i really like that about her and we've seen that in um the first season which i guess we can't call this do we call this the second season since it's still labeled as the first season I, I'm, I'm i'm confused here but anyway she do try to teach them the value of a dollar and how to budget and just because y'all got it don't mean you just got to get it. She teaches them how to how to earn it and work for it at the same time. Even though you have it, it shouldn't just be gay to you. You got to do stuff to earn it, I guess I'm trying to say. But it, anyway, her son had the opportunity to get whatever car he wanted and he wasn't even in no hurry to try to get it. He just been chilling. He was like, you can carry me. Kiana can carry me. Uh, Call the driver to uh, drive to carry me. I ain't even trying to drive. I, I be scared, basically. And that's just so funny to me because I'm like, really? Um, You know, and it's funny to me. You got kids like Sheree Whitfield kids and Zim, Kim Zosiak kids that they some f list of kids. And I consider Shunny kids as B to C list of kids. And they not even uh, acting like Kim kids to thinking they got to have Benz and Mercedes and all these expensive stuff. They done ran out and got the car the first day it was told to them. Didn't know they can't drive. But anyway, a lot of respect for that. But anyway, she gave her son $1,000 to go to the store to buy his school clothes. And Miles, the, the older brother, going to uh, convince Shakir to talk him up about these ugly-ass $1,000 Yeezys. Nobody, he can't even sell, uh, so he went on to buy the shoes and didn't get no school, school clothes. He can't even sell these ugly-ass Yeezys to his friends. His friends like, we're not getting no $1,000 ugly-ass Yeezys. Don't nobody want them shoes, which is really sad because they was ugly. Did nobody even want them. And I don't even know why his brother, who don't even have the shoes, was going to talk his little brother into getting them. That was so sad. <laughs> but anyway... Trying to try to make uh make him carry the shoes back, but of course they didn't take returns. But she just took all his other shoes that he was collecting and sold them, got the money back that way, and still made him go buy school clothes. So that's what I'm saying. Teach him some values. Don't be acting like Kim and Zosie. Yeah, your kids ain't got no substance to you, no structure, no nothing. They just out here in the street doing whatever, just wilding and whatever, and and they ain't got just no oomph about them or nothing like that. So I give her a lot of respect for that. Way to go, Shawnee. You a good mama. Anyway, so, uh, how was his name? Sharif went on and took the driver's test. Of course, he passed it. But y'all, did y'all hear the boy? The boy done tried to bribe the driving instructor. I'm like, boy, if you don't shut up, you trying to go to jail on camera uh, and trying to, uh, uh, bribe the state to pass your test. But anyway, and then he can have any car his choice. Of course, he got a Porsche, which was a rich kid move, but he earned it. He got his Porsche or whatever. Like his mom said, now you start carrying all these kids to school. So that's pretty much well a wrap up of episode, episode um, six. So let's hop. I mean, episode five. Let's hop right on to episode six. It was hot for the tutor because she had to get Shakira tutor. Pretty little girl. And he feeding for the tutor, mouse feeding for the tutor, mouse walking around being rude, just busting up in the tutor um, sessions, just being cringy, like trying to talk to the girl to the point the girl done quit. But in the meantime, the time she was there, um, Shakir Graves went up sky high. They was great. But this episode was mostly about Miles, because Miles got his own apartment. If y'all remember, they showed that um, at the end of the last season when they was trying to find that boy apart because he he uh, pulled the Briella Beerman mood and wanted, wanted an expensive apartment. And Shannon was like, hell no, 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 no. 
So they found him a little inexpensive something and moved him in. But now he's still over at her house, taking all the food, gonna bring his little funky booty up in her shower while she up in there, want to take a shower and use the bathroom and all that. No, I tell him, no, nah, biggest this house is all these bathrooms. You better go use one of the other bathrooms because you wouldn't have your musty nuts up in mine. Ain't no way. <laughs> Care? Shawnee is a good mama. I guess she was doing that for the camera because he got his ass out of my damn bathroom. But anyway, now, Miles out of his feelings because he feel like Shawnee don't be including him and stuff that's going on at the house. Now, boy, he was ready to move. You done got your own place. Now you don't move. Don't be worrying the shit out of your damn mama come talking about, mother, you didn't call me. Call you for what? Because everybody in here on the trampoline and you didn't feel like I want to be on the trampoline. She said, boy, you don't even like the trampoline that much. And she said, I didn't think to call you. They just in there on the trampoline. Then what is she supposed to do? Mouse, everybody's in the pool. Mouse, everybody's in the car. We're going to the mall or we're going to the grocery store. No, this is a part of growing up and being an adult. Once you move, you're not going to be reported to every five minutes to come over there. Either you live here or either you don't. If you happen to be here, oh well, but every time we move the house, we're not going to wait for you to come. It is what it is. Maybe you can meet them there. I don't know. One of the other kids call you, but as a mama, I'm not going to be calling you every day. When my oldest daughter moved out and the other two were still here, I didn't call her and, and she kind of felt like she didn't say we wouldn't call it including her because she didn't feel that way, but she did feel like she was missing out on family stuff so she was eager to move and she lived in a whole nother city so she did move back to the same city we in and now we do kind of call and be like oh we all going to such and such such and, such. and she'll meet us there or she'll come over so we you know or i have her brother copy like well let your sister know we're doing so because they do feel that way and she's been gone for a while like four years so anyway um Shawnee, where in the hell did you get this dog on asthmatic dog? That poor little dog look like the dog on uh look like Stitch off Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Just the breathing alone, I wouldn't want no dog anymore. But anyway, her plan worked. Mimi don't want a dog anymore. She done and over that. So Anyway, Shawnee threw Miles, uh, well, she went over to Miles' house to see why she don't stay over there because it's just an empty apartment. It don't even look like a house. All he got basically in there is a bed and a couple of pieces of furniture. So she threw him um, a housewarming shower, got him a toaster, a toaster oven, put some food in the refrigerator, bought him in a few plants, made it look like home, tried to make it feel more homey. And he broke it down to and said, <laughs> I'm going to still be at your house, but thank you anyway. <laughs> That's a kid for you, Shawnee. That's how they do. Trust me. Been there, done that. <laughs> Good luck. So, that was all nice. Um, He might stay at home more, but I doubt it very seriously. So, that's the wrap-up of both of her shows, both of her episodes. It was good. I liked it. I will be watching it again Monday. I thank y'all for watching this review, and I will see y'all in the next one.